hospitals in Marion County are urging people with mild illness symptoms to not go to emergency rooms. The health department says a recent influx of patients sick with respiratory issues is putting a strain on the health care system. Melissa McMasters is a registered nurse with the Marion County Public Health Department and is here with some of the insight on what people should do instead. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. So first and foremost, what uptick are we seeing? What's causing this problem? So all of our ERs are pretty packed here in Indianapolis, and it's related to respiratory viruses. So we're seeing things like flu, RSV, and COVID all circulating right now. And it's putting a bit of a strain then on the hospital systems and emergency rooms and making it harder for them to help those that really need it? Exactly. So we want those that are the sickest to be able to seek care in a timely fashion. So we're asking folks that have milder symptoms to maybe go to their provider or perhaps go to a pharmacy-based clinic or urgent visit center. What do we classify as milder symptoms? How can we tell? Sure. So we're talking like a cough, maybe sore throat, low, uh, low grade temperature. Those are mild symptoms. But if you're having any trouble breathing, chest pain, high fever, um, any of those it's important that you do go to the ER so we don't want to discourage anyone if there's any doubt they should seek care in the ER. You mentioned clinics, milder symptoms. What are some of our options if we're facing those but think we still need to see a doctor? Yeah, so a lot of um, hospitals offer telehealth or you could go to a pharmacy-based clinic. Um, even just checking in with your provider, sometimes they can help um, assess you and, and, and give you some advice. And reiterate again, when we have symptoms and we cross that line and maybe it being more serious, what is that line? What are those symptoms? So again, if we have any shortness of breath, chest pain, difficulty breathing, those are all important symptoms that need to be seen in the ER. What are some of the ways, it's this time of year, these yeah. viruses are rampant, but what are some ways that maybe we can prevent even getting sick in the first place? Absolutely. One of the most important things is vaccination. We have vaccines available for all three of these viruses, and it's not too late to get vaccinated. A lot of people think it's too late in the season, but flu generally doesn't even peak until February or March. So that's, that's one really good option. And again, just hand washing frequently, um, thoroughly, staying home when you're sick, and keeping kids home from school when they're sick. And if someone is in the hospital, can we go visit our loved ones or are there restrictions on that right now? So there are some visitor restrictions right now trying to keep um, flu and those viruses out of the hospital, making those that are sick sicker. So it's a, just a good idea to check with each um, hospital system before you visit to see what those restrictions entail. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate you educating us this morning. It can be tricky this time of year, so you've really helped us out. Thank you.